Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a review. I haven't done a review in quite a while, um, but I saw this on Instagram and actually Ashley reached out to me and asked if I wanted a budget notebook so I could review it on my YouTube and stuff like that. And I was like, I need to get my life in budgeting order anyway, so why not? Um, so I am doing a review um, of the Ashley Shelley The Budget Notebook. Um, and I think this is one of her new ones. So it came in a rigid mailer, similar to ones that I use. This is a Planner Kate one, but this is this is essentially what, what, what it was um, in. So that's what it was sent in and then it was also packaged in a cello bag so i'm going to take that off and so what comes in here is the budget notebook and then it also came with a cute little card that says reinvent yourself each day and then it has her website and then her signature at the bottom and it says share a snapchat of your purchase on instagram using the hashtags that apply so these are all the hashtags that you guys can search to see other people's um ashley shelley products and then also tag her so i can see and comment to you so that's pretty sweet and i love when they send cute little cards like this so um this is a notebook essentially um, and let me tell you guys this is one of the most beautiful budget notebooks I've ever seen in my entire life here is her website so she sells a lot of things uh, she has planners and her stuff is so cute so let's look and see the budget notebooks there's a bunch of different designs um, so here are her budget notebooks they are $13 each so she has like an aqua polka dot one uh, there's a marble and blush one, one with pandas, it's called mint chocolate chip, um, pink heart one, the spring floral, which is the one that I got, and that's it. So these are $13, which I think is a really good deal, especially because it's really compact, it's put together so beautifully, um, and I just think it's... Like, I can't even explain the feel of this cover, but it's beautiful. And it's super professionally made, which I love. Um, so I'm going to open it and kind of go through all of the pages and show you guys what's included um, and things like that. Okay, so here's the notebook. Here's the front cover. You guys have kind of been looking. Here's the back cover. Has, again, her logo there. I love this design. I think it's really beautiful. So let's go through the first page. Uh, so it says this notebook belongs to blank and you can write your name in there and then it also there is like a cute little note from her on the first page it says hello I'm so excited for you to start using your brand new notebook um this is cute so it kind of just tells you about um the ways that you can use this it's going to be easier if you have any questions feel free to contact her and she's more excited. Get started and enjoy the process is what it says, which is really cute. And so then there's more budgeting posts, products, and updates on her website because she does have a blog as well on that website. So the first two pages, the first one is the all bills list. So essentially, I think this is like where you put down every single month, like recurring bills. That's at least what I would put on this. Um, so I know that, oh, my cell phone payment comes out this day this is what it is and this is how much it always is or like a mortgage payment so fill this list with all of your bills to refer back for each financial period which is nice so to have that right at the beginning this one is a savings tracker so I really love having a savings tracker especially in a budgeting notebook because when you're budgeting you're usually saving for something or you want to save for something so I think this is perfect to have within the first few um, so it has date starting balance amount deducted and then the ending balance then here is one that I haven't seen very often and I love that, that she put this in here. So there is a financial goal section which it says what do you want to accomplish financially to create more freedom and I love that. So you can write down your goals, what you want to accomplish, what you want to buy and then there's also a blank note section down here. Then right next to your financial goals, there's a purchase which list, which I think goes together perfectly because usually when you're doing financial goal stuff, it's about buying something, whether it's a house, a car, you know, a little back dress that you've wanted for forever, some shoes, you know, it's, I love that. And so you have the item, how much it is, how much you're going to, your savings time frame is, so how long it would take you essentially to save for something like that. And then once you buy it, you can click the yay box, which I think is so cute. And it says, one of the benefits of budgeting is creating room for the fun things too. 
So I really love that. And the paper, you guys, is such great quality. It's, you guys know I love my butter paper. The first section um, of this whole budget notebook is just a page of, I'm assuming this is like an expense tracker. So you have your amount, your bills and expenses, the due date of it, and if you've paid it or not, and then you can use your income, minus everything, see how much the total is, how much you've saved. So I think that's really cool, and then you can always have notes on every tracking page. So I would use this like once a month. This is like a monthly thing, I, at least I think, or bi-weekly, depending on what you use. So the rest of these pages are all of the expense trackers, which I really love. So there is quite a few sheets. I wonder exactly how many sheets there is in this thing. Hang on, I'm going to look it up really quick. There's 40 sheets. Oh my god, that's funny. Her, it says... Inside pages are 40 pounds thickness and smooth as butter. I literally just said that it's smooth like butter. So then after you do all of the um, the full spread layouts or like the expense trackers, um, you get to the debt overview. So the debt overview is just fill this list with all of your debts, credit cards, financial purchases, like houses, um, anything else, <laughs> student loans, which I have to start paying back soon. Uh, yeah, and loans. So you can write the item here, um, how much you usually pay every month, because that usually doesn't change, um, and then the notes and plans for saying goodbye to these debts. Not paying them. I'm just kidding. That won't make them go away. Um, and then on the next page, they have a debt repayment plan. So they have like the debt that you're paying, what your starting balance is, how much you're paying, how much that's coming out, and then your new balance. So you can keep like a running tab um, which I really, really love. And then also some notes down the side. So I think there's a few pages of these. Yeah, so there's a few pages of those, which I think is a great idea. And then that's the end. And the inside cover even has like beautiful. So it says, thank you for using this notebook for such an important part of your life, your finances. To order your next budget notebook. And then it has her website. I am actually going to write on this back page because I kind of want to see how this pen writes on it. Um, this is the, I just want to see if it'll bleed through because you guys know I'm all about the bleeding. I'm going to be beauty guru. There we go. This is a Papermate Ink Joy gel pen in 0.7. This is in the steel blue color, I believe. So let's see if it is going to bleed. Ooh, this is smooth. Okay, so there we go. I'm going to write a smiley face too because... Yay! Okay. So, it does have a little bit of shadowing. I'm going to try and show you guys. If it'll focus. So, you can barely see there is a little bit of shadowing, but this is also a dark pen. Um, but, you know, it's not enough to bother me, but if you guys are bothered by shadowing... It's not that bad though. So um, I am really excited to use this, like really excited. So thank you, Ashley, for sh sending this to me. Um, I'm going to leave Ashley's website and her Instagram and stuff like that down below. And you guys can go check it out. She has um, not only like a budget notebook, she also has like a notebook, like a small notebook bestie, notebook journal, like journals like this. Um, and she has beautiful planners as well. So all my planner girls out there, you guys are looking for a budgeting notebook or just something to keep in your planner this will be perfect in the back of your Erin Condren so here is my Erin Condren here so let's I know that her um I'm pretty sure her planners sell pockets for these as well but I just want to show you guys oh there's a check I just want to show you guys like how perfect this would fit and they even have new ones now so it fits perfectly in the back of your Erin Condren and I think it would look great in an A5 key K or even a personal size. I think it might be a little bit big for a personal size, but I think it fits perfectly. It doesn't add too much bulk. So yeah, I'm really excited to use this. So if you guys um, are in need of a budget notebook, make sure you check out Ashley. And also um, I will do an updated budget tour or maybe I'll do an update like in my next favorites video or something um, about how I'm loving it. I don't think I'll probably show you guys stuff afterwards because my finances are my business. Um, but I will give you guys a review of how I'm loving it and stuff like that. Um, but make sure you guys check out Ashley's Instagram and her website. And I think she might have an YouTube videos. I'll find out. But 
go check her out. Make sure when you buy your budget notebook, your planner, your traveler's notebook, you tell her that I sent you. I hope you guys enjoy this. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.